Energy Observer Launched in April 2017, Energy Observer is the first ship to operate autonomously thanks to a combination of renewable energy and renewable hydrogen, which is produced on board using seawater. After its launch, the Energy Observer embarked on a six-year journey around the world to optimize technology. With this boat, scientists plan to find a workable and long-lasting solution to change energy sources. Energy Observer is practically a floating laboratory that uses three types of wind turbines and solar panels to generate energy. At first, they were located on 130 square meters, then it increased to 165 square meters. And in April 2020, the solar panels already covered 202 square meters. And that's really a lot. For comparison, you need 20 to 25 panels per apartment building. The area of one standard panel is one hole and six tenths of a square meter. So the solar panels covered by Energy Observer would be enough for five residential buildings, and there would still be enough for a garage. Hover Car And this is a concept with the Volkswagen logo, a two-seat vehicle for electromagnetic roads. The capsule hovers above the roadway, is controlled by a joystick, and equipped with an automatic accident prevention system. The concept made it to the top three in the car project competition beating about 120,000 competitors. Nemo At only 2,100 kg or 4,629 pounds, Nemo 1 is the lightest manned, underwater vehicle ever built. It's small at 1 and 48 hundredths of a meter in height, which is pretty important when transporting a small submarine to the water. The two-seater version of the Nemo 2 weighs 2,000, 500 kilograms and is only 1.55 hundredths of a meter high. All in all, the difference is not much, but the main thing in the Nemo is of course not the size, although one sub takes up less space than two jet skis. At the heart of the Nemo's design is a robust acrylic hull. That is a completely transparent window, which provides an unobstructed view of the underwater world. The submarine is powered by four silent electric motors, and it's controlled by two universal controllers. Nemo is also the only submarine in the world, which does not need to be custom-made, so it is much cheaper than any analogs. And also, similar submarines are used by scientists when they investigate something in deep water. But of course, this submarine has different features, functionality, and durability. Would you like to have such a submarine as Nemo 1? Nukob Now let's talk a little bit about cities of the future. It's a gateway to another world. This is how the presentation of the cube skyscraper, Muka, begins. If all goes according to plan, it will decorate the capital of Saudi Arabia in 2030 and will become not just a tourist attraction, but the new face of Riyadh. The area of the skyscraper will exceed 2 million square meters, and the size of the edge will be 400 meters. Have you seen the American Empire State Building? Inside the cube will be enough space for 20 such skyscrapers. It's practically a city within a city, shopping centers, hotels, theaters, offices, museums, and even an opera house. Visitors and residents will have no time to be bored, and the main feature will be a spiral tower, located inside the queue. But building such a cube is not a cheap pleasure. According to the most conservative estimates, the skyscraper cube and the area around it will cost $48 billion. Until today, there were only two known ways to get from the Emirates to India, by ship or by plane, but both options are actually not very good, because one of them is very long, and the other is expensive. In addition, a lot of people in the world have fear and discomfort during flights, and the flights themselves can often be delayed because of bad weather. To solve these problems, scientists began to think about creating an alternative, and they have succeeded. In the near future to build an unusual transport, which will be able to carry a large number of passengers and cargo, not lagging behind our usual Boeing. Just imagine, this amazing train will be able to move underwater at a speed of 1,000 km per hour or 620 miles per hour. By the way, they want to entrust its construction to a Chinese company, which already has experience in building large-scale projects underwater. Do you think it's possible? Write your opinion in the comments. Quadrofoil This electric hydrofoil is both like a car that can ride on the surface of the water and a giant mechanical watermaker. It is a unique new generation device. The quadrofoil steering system allows all four wings and the motor to be operated simultaneously, making the jet ski one of the most maneuverable and obedient today. At just 12 kilometers per hour, the hydrofoils create enough force to lift the jet ski above the surface of the water. 
According to the creators, it feels like a real flight. The Quadrofoil has a top speed of 40 km per hour, but even at these rates, it remains perfectly controllable. But if you prefer calm and comfort instead of speed, the Hydrofoils ensure the Quadrofoil moves very smoothly, without annoying vibrations and jolts at every turn. And as a bonus, this jet ski is silent and zero emission, allowing it to ride in lakes, rivers, seas and environmental areas, where most motorboats are prohibited. Seapod. These are the capsules that have already gone into production. About 100 will be finished by the end of 2023. The price tag ranges from $295,000 to $1.5 million. It depends on the size and contents of the capsule. For example, the variant of 73 square meters offers three levels, on which the bedroom, living room, kitchen, bathroom and pantry are placed. If not enough, a special party module with barbecue is available, which will increase the area by about 20%. The capsule's stuffing will be controlled with a wave of the hand. Owners will be given smart rings. The height above the water is 2 and 2 tenths meters. Drones will be used to deliver small shipments, while larger ones will be taken on board by autonomous vessels. Jet Capsule The jet capsule has a very unusual boat shape and somewhat resembles vacuum wireless headphones or an iron. Nevertheless, the manufacturer calls the jet capsule a compact luxury boat. It's made of 70% carbon fiber like some kind of supercar. It also has photochromic windows that change their transparency with the intensity of the light. The jet capsule is equipped with one or two engines ranging from 370 to 740 horsepower with a top speed of about 64 kilometers per hour or 39 miles per hour. Despite its small size compared to conventional yachts, there is enough space inside to take a group of friends to an island where they can comfortably sleep aboard. The interior of the jet capsule can be customized according to the owner's wishes. For example, to add a bathroom, beds, to race, or to install a certain number of armchairs. Biopod Such greenhouse capsules are planned to be delivered exactly to our natural satellite. They will start growing plants in test mode on Earth as early as this year, and they should reach the moon by 2027. The size of the hothouse is 11 by 6 meters. No soil is required, because everything runs on advanced hydroponics, and the necessary humidity temperature and other parameters will provide a fully autonomous control system, which will take into account the preferences of all planted plants. The capsules are already of interest to NASA, and according to the developers, such technology will be useful on Earth. WAMV-33 Unlike other boats, ships, jet skis, and other vehicles, the WAMV-33 is not designed to be ridden by people. It is a self-contained modular watercraft super light and with a very shallow immersion depth. It is capable of operating in conditions where a conventional boat of the same size simply would not last. Also, the WAMV-33 is proposed to be used for marine research, coastal surveys, robotics tests, and of course for defense. Hublis. The authors of this model claim that they were the very first to install a 30-inch wheel on a motorcycle. Then they went even further and made a Hublis version. The version of the motorcycle is electric. A complete package of impressions is guaranteed. Project details are usually not disclosed, but it is known that one of the gasoline variants took about five months of work and got a 1 in 8 liter engine. In general, this whole story is not about speed, but about style. Seclo. The phrase elite catamaran may sound strange, but that's exactly how you should describe what Seclo. They make entire floating islands, which guarantee a calm and quiet ride on the water. Depending on the model, the boat can accommodate one person or an entire company. All varieties of watercraft are made of high-quality materials, such as expensive wood and aluminum. Although the word catamaran implies that you have to move with the help of pedals, all models are equipped with electric motors of different capacities. But for true connoisseurs, any of the catamarans can be custom-built, Write in the comments which of the types of vehicles or concepts in this video impressed you the most. Subscribe to the Karo Show channel and watch our previous videos. Goodbye.